Hey, <laughs> welcome to Coffee and Tools. I got a tool this week. We're gonna, I'm gonna try to run it. <laughs> it was it, really when you buy this tool, what you really need. Yeah, guys, for this next accessory, you're probably best to go out and get you a nice uh, dustpan and broom uh, because this uh, tool is gonna be well, it's gonna make a mess. Well, we're gonna try to run it today. We'll see what we can do with it. Uh, we'll find out. I bought this thing at a yard sale, but. I think we had a show way back, so let's see what we can do with it. All right, are you ready for this? Sure. Uh, okay, this is the Sears Hobby. <laughs> Sears uh, Hobby, Hobby. This is the Sears Hobby wood lathe. Man, yeah, I've been messing with it a little bit, trying to see if we can get it working, because the other problem I've got is this thing is so old, the, uh, this piece here, you can see it, it's designed for one of those big old craftsman, you know, metal type uh, drills. And of course, uh, those things aren't just laying around anymore. So if I went back to the, uh, the 50s or 60s, I could probably find one of those at a, at a uh, store and, you know, get it in here. The good thing is it's a V-block. So whatever size drill you have should probably work. So we bought, I guess you could say, we bought an experimental drill for a couple of reasons, and it's a Ryobi. So we're gonna mix Ryobi with uh, Sears. It's funny, I really expected to see Craftsman written on that. Hmm. Because this is kind of a, a lame experiment, <laughs> I bought the cheapest Ryobi I could find. I think at Home Depot, it was still kind of shocking because it was like 30, nine dollars something it was higher than what i remember these it's a three-eighths chuck it's high speed and that's about it and of course uh, you know plug in i swear the uh they used to be oops, more money than that now like i said because of a v we only have two two issues here the first issue is always of course you want to be in line from here to here but the second access is going to be from here to here this way, you know. Uh, I guess we'll call this an imagine. So I dug out a piece of doweling to go from here to here so I can sort of see if I can get the uh, centers lined up pretty good before we uh, try to see if we can blow this thing up or whatever. This thing doesn't seem to see if we get the drill. And I've already adjusted this screw a little bit, so. I think I've got the height and ideally too because of that straight line you want I'm trying to get the drill reasonably straight up and down and then I'm gonna lock it in and then I had to make some pieces for this thing because I, I didn't get everything I don't think that would have come with it but let's see what we can do with that so, so here's the next plan let's see if we can get that bolted down in place and let's see what we can do with this and that's not going to be great, but it'll work. Okay. All right, so we're going to try to see what we can do to make this thing run today. But uh, I've always found in the past a wood lathe is a real mess. So it's not... It, ooh, that's tight. Let's see if we can get that a little bit more straighter and then finally tighten her up a little more. Ooh. Okay. Oop. Yeah, this may not work. I thought it would. Uh, hmm. We're up against the screw, but we're not... Okay, so we're not dragging on that, but we we're just about ready to fall off that, that screw at the front. And like I said, I thought we could... I'm pretty sure I thought we could do this. Let's see. Yeah, just sort of hold it real tight. Maybe I can get it. That's going to have to work. Yeah, that should do it. And she's sitting on the screw nicely. So now, uh, to get a reading, as I said, uh, used a piece of uh, doweling. Well, I just want to show you guys what we're, what we're up against. Uh, first off, the alignment this way. You know, and, that, and that's really... Because this is a V-block on this end, and this is adjustable height up and down apparently. I'll show you that uh, uh, again. I don't know how good you can 
Well, we can see that. Yeah, and what it is is the uh, slot, you can loosen this off and drop it down or raise it up. And I'm, like I said, I messed with it the other day and I raised it up a little bit, pretty close to the top. And I took a piece of dowling into the drill and tried to get, you know, a pretty straight shot between this point and this point. Because ideally, you don't want the machine fighting itself, that's for sure. And the other thing I don't like with... Uh, with this one is this is uh, this is a usually we would call this a live center or something, but there's no bearings, there's nothing. This is just a bolt with a you know a point on it, so the wood is going to be uh, just dragging on this. I don't know if uh, Sears would have had you wet the wood, put something in there, uh, uh, wax maybe, uh, just so it sort of you know floats on that that pin back here. The other piece I didn't have was this end, so I made something. As soon as I find it. Yeah. Yeah. This also came, let me put this away. This also came with, uh, without the piece on this end. So I took a bolt and uh, took it down. And yeah, see if I can't you know, get it like that. I think this might be pretty lame, but that's a real good 5 8 uh, it was a lag bolt, cut the head off, ground it a little bit so it can fit in the drill. So and I'm looking down this way even, and we look fairly, yeah, we look fairly straight. So I don't know. Now all we need is, uh, I think we need to plug it in and get a piece of wood. Okay, so I happen to have something right there. So, I, so I've got everything set up. This is just a... Actually, this is not even a round piece of woods. Just not a round piece. This is not even a round piece of woods. I, I don't know how, how good or bad, whatever, this is going to work out. I've already pre-drilled a hole in about the center, so we can feed it up on this, I think. Oh, it's getting pretty tight. Hmm. See, one of the problems that I, I see with this is if that wood decides to shift that way, then we've got a problem. And now, let's see if we can, yeah, it'll come off this end and hit you in the head and kill you or whatever, it's, you know, no biggie, right? Uh, okay, so now, the other thing that did come with this when I got it at the yard sale was this, but I uh, had somebody look at it and they told me this thing is just absolutely dull. And uh, so I'm going to sharpen this up a little bit. I need a sharpener. Uh, I guess you know that circular saw blade sharpener we bought the other week. <laughs> I wonder. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back with a uh, sharpener. I'm going to bring you over here a little bit so you can look down and see what's happening. This is our, our rig. Uh, and let's, let's take a shot at it, right? Yeah. Okay, hold on. There's got to be a lock button here. Somewhere. Okay. Uh, huh. What is wrong here? Oh, the chuck came loose. Cool. This might not even work because of the chuck. Maybe let's have an old key chuck and really, you know, crank down on it or something. All right. I'll get that extra tight <sighs> for what it's worth. Yeah, this still looks pretty decent. Now let's try a little more. I think it came loose. Yep. Well, 
us coffee and tools don't do this eh, at home <laughs> it's, it uh yeah it was chunking it out uh, we're starting to do something but the problem i'm seeing is this uh is aggravating this is coming loose each and every time i start to spin so and maybe that was a problem that people had back then with these uh lathes i don't know I will, we'll keep the project together for now and if I can figure this thing out, maybe I'll come back and we'll discuss it another time. But uh, right now, the chuck keeps breaking loose. And maybe what we need is something different. Uh, I was thinking about making a steel plate with a couple of screws that would go in this way that would chuck up into this. But if I get vibration or anything and the chuck breaks loose like that, then the whole project is kind of like... Just kind of useless you really need like a keyed an old keyed drill i guess where you could really lock it down but it did start to uh it did start to uh you know kind of looks like a beaver was eating it but uh, it did start to go down a little bit this still needs some more sharpening i just threw it over on the sharpener for a minute it, it feels sharp to me all right oh you didn't think we we're going to give this up just yet now did you all right <laughs> We're going to try to see if I can uh, tighten this up. You either break something or it works, right? I guess. Let's see if we can really come down on that. Well, that should be in there pretty tight now. And just check everything else over and make sure it's tight. Uh, pretty sloppy so far. I, I really... I'm not sure if this is a good idea. The drill, the drill might just be, you know, just not fast enough. I, I really don't know. Uh, let's see if we can get that going. Okay, I give up. Don't buy this. Don't use it. <laughs> Thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. It broke. I'm happy. But, yeah, the, it was kind of a bust. But Well, this week, Coffee and Tools and Sears. Thank you for watching, everybody, and have a great week.